Hey guys, it's Jill at Taking Weight Off. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. So today, I figured I would do something a little different. If you guys don't know, I have a second channel. Well, this is my second channel, actually. I have a main channel. I have over 70,000 subscribers over there. Um, but I, my most successful videos over there are my crock pot videos. But I figured that maybe I would start like slowly making the transition to all of my food videos being over here. So I figured what better way than to start with this one, which if you guys don't know me, you don't know that I love crock, a good crock pot meal. They are just, they're so easy and it does all the cooking for you. These are great if you're learning how to cook, if you don't like to cook and you have a family and you don't have a man that's gonna come cook for you or even if you do have a man, he doesn't like to cook, you gotta cook, whatever your, whatever your situation. I'm not a big fan of cooking. I just, I'm gonna be real, I'm just not. So whatever help I can get into the kitchen, whatever help I can get in the kitchen, I'm here for. I also wanna mention, disclaimer, and I hate that I have to do this on every single video, where food is involved, but I am here to try to break the misconception that you cannot lose weight eating by like basically in a calorie deficit, which basically means you can eat whatever you want. You just have to stay within a specific caloric range. And that's how I eat. You're going to see these recipes. They are not healthy. They are not diet. I am not on a diet. I am on a lifestyle change. I have 183 pounds to lose. So when I was thinking about this, this way being different, this time being different, this journey of mine being different, what is going to be different about it? And it's going to be to throw all of the so-called rules out the window and come up with my own rules on what makes sense for me and my family. And this is the way that I choose to eat. I've lost close to 20 pounds. I love what I'm doing. I love what I'm eating. I don't feel deprived. And because I'm not depriving myself, I don't have this constant binge restrict binge restrict binge restrict binge cycle so because of that i have been just loving life and i'm loving the way that i'm eating so i want you guys to come into this video with an open mind and an open heart to know that you don't have to eat broccoli chicken and rice if that's what you want to do that's fine but this is probably not the channel for you if you were looking for recipes and like inspiration to change your lifestyle to you know suit that because for me we eat chips on this channel we eat ice cream we eat steak and all kinds of stuff we eat ribs like literally nothing is off limits for me so i just wanted to put that disclaimer because a lot of people just want to seem just be really mean. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into these crock pot videos. I have six of them and they are my family's tried and true. I picked my favorite and then I have two kids. So my son's favorite, my daughter's favorite, and I picked three that are just like all three of our favorites. Tried and true. They're so delicious. They're so easy. They're literally dump. Go call it a day. You have dinner on the table in like eight hours. So well, like four to eight hours. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new here, please subscribe, click the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up. 89% um, of y'all are watching but aren't subscribed. So go ahead and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so for this meal, this is our first crock pot dump and go crock pot meal. We are having a kind of like a twist on a tomato soup. So first what you wanna do is go ahead and brown up some Italian sausage. I had it here in a strainer over here in the sink so I could drain the grease. So you want to go ahead and brown that up. One pound of Italian sausage, ground Italian sausage. Put that in there. Then you want a can of 28 ounce, a 28 ounce can of petite diced tomatoes. Throw that in there. Then you want two cans of 10 and a quarter ounce cans of tomato soup so just dump those in there and then you want this full container of chicken broth which I use the reduced sodium so what I'm gonna do actually so I can get all of this tomato soup 
out is go ahead and pour it into the cans. And this is all you're going to need for now. What you're going to do is cook it on low for six to eight hours and then 30 minutes prior to we're going to add some more stuff to this. So I'll show you that when we get to it. By the way, this is the night before. I prefer to make my crock pot meals the night before. Go ahead and just dump everything in, anything that I need to cut up or brown up or anything. So that way in the morning, all I have to do is literally put my crock pot out on the counter for it to come to room temperature and then I will put it in the base. So this is going in the fridge until tomorrow morning and I will see you guys 30 minutes before it's time to eat so I can show you what else we're gonna put in here. Okay, so it has been cooking on low all day. Just got home, so now I'm going to add in one package of cheese tortellini. And you're also going to add some cream cheese. Now it's said to add in two containers of these, so 16 ounces of the chive and onion cream cheese spread. But when I did the macros, I just found it to be a little too high, especially since I couldn't find turkey sausage. So I'm just basically going to half, well, let's see. I could totally measure this out and weigh this out, but I honestly don't feel like it. So I'm just gonna like eyeball half of it of this one. And then I wasn't sure if me and the kids were actually going to like the whole um, chive and onion. So I figured I would just do half of a regular third less fat cream cheese. So I'm gonna cut this block in half, add that. Like I said, the recipe says to do two eight ounces. So basically 16 ounces of cream cheese. But I can't see if you Okay, so it's been 30 minutes, so I'm just going to try to incorporate this cream cheese. In order for it to be like super creamy like it's supposed to, you probably do have to do like the whole 16 ounces. But like I said, I just found that to be a little too much fat and you know, we've got some creaminess, but I just want to make sure that that cream cheese is incorporated and Basically, all you do is just put it in a bowl. This has six servings, by the way, so I say maybe like a cup to a cup and a half is a serving. So we're going to go ahead and enjoy this, and I will see you guys for Dump and Go meal number two. Now for my son's favorite. His was, and really it's all of our favorites. This was so delicious. It's queso chicken. And I actually found this recipe, not on Pinterest or anything, which is where I personally find most of my recipes, but I found this one through YouTube, and I can't remember who it was that I found it. I think I saw it with several uh, different people that were doing what's for dinner videos, so I can't exactly give credit to like one specific person because I don't remember who it was. But, oh, um, gee, I mean, so simple. These also are like true dump and go recipes. You might have to like brown up some chicken, not chicken, but some sausage or some ground beef. But other than that, these are so incredibly simple. Like you're gonna be done in minutes and dinner is gonna be on the table in, you know, literally minutes. So this one was just so good. You can do it in the taco shells like I'm gonna show you, or you can do this over rice. You can do this like as a, base to put over nachos. You can do so much with this. It was delicious. So let's go ahead and show you how to make queso chicken tacos. So you're just gonna need some chicken breast, a packet of taco seasoning, can of Rotel, can of green chilies, and you're gonna need one cup of chicken broth. Since I'm actually gonna be gone all day and I can't keep an eye on my crock pot, I am going to add the whole can because when I get home, you kind of have to like drain the excess, excess liquid anyways. So I figure better safe than sorry. This crock pot does cook pretty hot. I'm pretty, I'm like a high. This, do, this crock pot does cook pretty high, so I just don't want my chicken to dry out. But if you can keep an eye on it and you're home throughout the day or you make this on a weekend, go ahead and just use one cup of the broth. So 
Let's go ahead and dump all of this in the crock pot. To me, something's wrong. Wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done? You get dressed, I'm like a mess. And you tell me to confess. And you tell me to confess. Oh, I don't know what to say, what to do, how to make you. I'm looking, that may have been a mistake to put in a whole can of chicken broth, but we'll see. We'll see. How many cups is in here? Oh, it just says one can, 411 grams. But yeah, um, we are also going to be adding this. We're also going to be adding this, but I will show you guys. You add this 30 minutes before you're ready to serve, and then I'll also show you guys what the tacos look like because they are amazing. We're going to bake them, and they're going to be delicious. So, yeah, we just cook this on low um, for eight hours, and I will show you guys what it looks like before we put in the salsa con queso because I want to show you how much liquid I have and then show you um, draining it and all that stuff. Okay, so I just got home from work, and this is what it looks like, y'all. It smells delicious in here. So what you want to do is go ahead and um, shred up your chicken. This is nothing in real life. It might just have been a bad dream. You can run, you can hide, but you can't put the blame on me. Because you're acting like... So I'm just going to take, like I said, some of this liquid and just kind of start taking it out. So that looks about good. There's not too much liquid left in there. Now you're going to take this. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Now the recipe calls for like three-fourths of the container, but y'all, mmm, I love it so much that so I go ahead and put all of it in there. And yeah, it might make it a little more like liquidy again, but it's delicious. And I'm going to make this into taco shells, or I'm going to put this into taco shells, bake them, and they are absolutely delicious. So at this point, you wanna go ahead and turn it up on high and set a timer for 30 minutes, and in 30 minutes, this will be done. You could also serve this over rice. That would be delicious as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for 30 minutes and then I'll show you what the tacos look like. Okay, so this is what it should look like. Doesn't it look delicious? If you guys want it less soupy, like I said, you can totally take more of that liquid out. But I personally like it like this because I'm going to serve it over rice tomorrow and that's just like the perfect consistency for me. Um, but today, I just put it in some taco shells and I put some cheese over the top. I've got my oven on 350, so I'm going to pop these in the oven at 350 <laughs> for about maybe 10 minutes and I will show you what they look like I'll plate it up and put some lettuce and some sour cream and deliciousness on there so I'll see you in a bit okay so this is what they look like I'm so excited these are delicious you guys you have to try this recipe if you have not yet and like I said put them in taco shells put it over rice it is delicious either way heck Eat it as a keto recipe by itself with no carbs. It's delicious. Um, that one is mine because the kids don't like sour cream. That one is one of the kids and that's the other one. So yeah. By the way, I put the I put them in the oven for only five minutes. So Ava's favorite is stupid easy. You could do it blindfolded. Like I'm not even kidding. It's literally and you're done. It's so incredibly simple. But it is grape jelly meatballs. That's what I personally call them. I think you guys have called them like cocktail meatballs or something like that. I don't know the exact name of them. I want to say that you guys have told me it was like from an old school Betty Crocker uh, cookbook. But y'all, these are so good. And they're so good whether you make them for a dinner. You can put rice on the side. You can put them over rice. You can just make them just as they are you can bring them to a potluck you can bring them to your holiday get-togethers these things are so good they're perfect for parties perfect for your family perfect for leftovers they freeze amazing i'm just i'm telling you it's so easy and it's so delicious as a matter of fact i got this recipe from one of my sister-in-laws and when she first said what was in it i was like hmm, yeah no <laughs> i am not trying that and then everyone was like, oh my gosh, who made the meatballs? The meatballs are so good. And I was like, 
do I need to go try those meatballs or something? And I tried them and I literally was like, you said grape jelly? Like, it's, they are so, 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 so good. So if you guys have not tried these, I highly recommend that you do. Um, again, perfect for holiday get-togethers. Everyone will go crazy for them and there will be nothing. There will be none left. Um, I also wanted to mention that you guys have also said that you have done cocktail wieners, like the little cocktail, that's what they're called. So um, I bet those would be delicious too. I personally have never made them that way. I've only done meatballs. And in the video, you're going to see turkey meatballs, which obviously cuts the fat and whatnot. But if you want to use beef meatballs, it kind of takes the, takes the taste up a notch for sure um, because turkey meatballs to me they're like a little more dry and whatnot and the regular meatballs are just perfection so let's go ahead and get into that recipe which is like like I said stupid easy so this crock pot meal is like the easiest crock pot meal ever I don't even know if it has a name I personally call it um, grape jelly meatballs this is like one of the kids favorites um, and so it's usually more like an appetizer but the kids are obsessed and we love to make this as a dinner. So all you're gonna need is a 12 ounce container of chili sauce. You'll find this um, over there by the ketchup and stuff like that. You are going to need a bag. I just have here a 32 ounce bag of turkey meatballs. Um, personally, it does taste better with the full fat, like regular pork um, or ground beef meatball but these are definitely obviously like healthier for you and all that stuff, so have those. And then I have here a 18 ounce jar of grape jelly. I've also heard people do barbecue sauce, um, so I think instead of the barbecue sauce, or instead of the chili sauce, people have done barbecue sauce, but these are the three ingredients that I like to make. So again, literally, just dump and go. This is so easy. You don't even have to cook this that long. It's like one o'clock now, so you can take like half the afternoon. Um, it's just so incredibly easier. I will say if you're going to cook with these turkey meatballs, that you should not cook them as much because they're going to dry out a little bit or a little bit more if you do cook it like regular eight hours. But yeah, you just literally dump them in there and then you put in your you know, at the same time your chili sauce and your actually I have to get something for this All right, so this is what it's going to look like. Now I'm just going to put it on low, put the cover on, and I'll see you guys back in four hours. So four hours on low. All right, so this is what they look like after about four hours of cooking on low. Um, and... I'm actually just going to serve it just like this tonight. Um, probably some veggies on the side, but um, yeah, this is another super, super simple, easy crock pot meal that is done super quickly and takes like no prep at all. This one was fairly recent that I made and it was ribs and oh my gosh, like I think literally every single bite I was just like, oh my gosh, these are so good. Oh my gosh, these are so good. Oh my gosh, these are so good. In the video you see that I made them in the crock pot and then I also put them, like I put them on a cookie sheet or a baking sheet and then I put them in the oven to broil. OMG, not only were they like falling apart tender, but the caramelization that happens with the barbecue sauce when it's on broil in the oven, oh, it was so, so, so good. So again, you guys want some ribs. This is just a really quick, easy, simple way to make them. 
and have them and really quench that rib, that rib craving of yours. This would be another great recipe to bring to say like a football event or something like that if we are even doing that. I know I'm not. But um, yeah, this would be great for you know any kind of football parties that you may have. Um, you know, even still holidays coming up if you guys are having like a finger food type thing situation uh, for your holiday parties. I'm telling you, so good, you need to make this. Let's get into the recipe. We are making ribs and I am so incredibly excited for this. So what you're gonna need is one onion chopped, some garlic, half a cup of water. You're going to need three to four pounds of ribs. Now, if you want them with the bones, I tried to find those, I could not find those. These were the only ribs that I found. So these are the country style ribs, or the pork shoulder butt. <laughs> so they are boneless, and they are kind of like a thick piece of meat. So we're gonna do this instead of the bone baby back ribs. But you can use whatever you choose. So this is the little rub mixture, and in here I have one tablespoon of brown sugar, three-fourths of a teaspoon of garlic powder, three-fourths of a teaspoon onion powder, half a teaspoon pepper, half a teaspoon lemon pepper, half a teaspoon of salt. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the rub and we're gonna rub the ribs with the seasoning. I'm going to put the onion on the bottom of the crock pot with some garlic. I'm going to put the ribs in and then we're going to uh, put the half a cup of water in there and then you want to cook these on low for eight hours or high for four hours. I'm kind of getting a late start. It is currently 1149. So what I'm going to do is cook it on high for a couple of hours and then turn it down to low because I want them super tender and super delicious. Um, I wish I would have was able to cook them earlier. But let's go ahead and get started with rubbing our meat and then we're going to drop everything into the crock pot and let it cook. Say I'm fine, too soon to say I'm fine, oh. I don't know what to say, what to do, how to make you see. This is nothing in real life, it might just have been a bad dream. You can run, you can hide, but you can't put the blame on me. Because you're acting like a volcano. So that is what the ribs look like after they have been cooking. I added some barbecue sauce. This is an unnecessary step, but it's a step that I highly recommend because they were good coming out of the crock pot. But when you put barbecue sauce on them and put them in the oven on broil, they just become magic. They like caramelize and oh, it's just, it's literally, I'm looking at this footage going, oh my gosh, these were so good. I want them again. They were delicious. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. And I also highly recommend that you do not skip the barbecue sauce and then the broil part. I mean, look at these ribs. They are so delicious and so good. I broiled mine for about five minutes. They could have gone a little bit longer, but just depending on your oven is how, and also how you like them is how long you should cook them on broil. So here is my plate. I'm so excited for this. We have the ribs, then I have some barley, which I meal prepped today, along with some cucumber and tomato salad and some roasted veggies. Next is taco chili, y'all. And again, this is one of those things that you can do so many things with. You can put it over some tortilla chips and you know have some nachos. You can eat it as is. You know, you can eat it like a, you would a chili with some Fritos, some corn chips, some cheese, some sour cream. Um, you can put this over rice. Like this is so delicious. You guys have, um, I just keep saying it. You guys have to try it. But all of these recipes are so, 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 so delicious. So let's go ahead and get into the recipe without further ado. This is one of my favorites. It is delicious and it's taco soup. There's many different ways to make this. Um, I've gone by a recipe and then I've also kind of added my own. So you're gonna need a can of beef broth, a can of black beans, 
a packet of taco seasoning, a can of kidney beans, a can of diced tomatoes, a can of corn, a can of rotel, one pound of ground beef browned up, a packet of ranch or three tablespoons out of this container, and then also a block of cream cheese. Delish. So you want to keep the liquid out of all of these cans except for the beans. So go ahead, drain those, and you're literally going to dump everything else in the crock pot. And let's get to it. Okay, so now all you want to do, pop the lid on, turn it on low for, the recipe said four hours, but soup, I personally think you can let go as long as you want. The better it cooks, the longer it cooks, the better it tastes. So it is currently like 12, so I'm probably going to let this cook for about six hours, so I will show you what it looks like when it's done. This is delicious. You all need to try this if you have not. It's, like I said, one of my favorite soups for sure. So this has been cooking, um, it's now 8.08. I've had a very, very, very busy day, so we are just now getting to eating dinner. But yeah, like I said, it doesn't have to cook for the just the four hours. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and combine this cream cheese in with the soup. And we're going to get to eating. Like I said, this is one of my favorites, and I highly recommend this. This is super delicious. Oh, I just got a whiff of it, and my mouth is watering. This is super delicious over some tortilla chips, or with some tortilla chips crushed on top. Um, <clears throat> you can add some rice in here if you wanted to. You could have some, you know, dip some taco shells in there, top it with cheese, top it with sour cream. There's so many things you can do with this. So I'm gonna keep incorporating this. I wish I would have incorporated this earlier because it's taking a minute to kind of melt on in. But yeah, I'm gonna keep on incorporating this cream cheese into the taco soup and I'll show you what it looks like all pulled up. I mean, it literally is gonna look just like this. But anyways, you guys like to see that. So I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Just topped it with some cheese and some sour cream. And I had the kids like all pretty with like just a little dab of, of um, cheese, but I was like, no, my, to make it look pretty for like you guys to see. And then I was like, no, they like to go, oh, not overboard, but they like cheese a lot. So I mean, who doesn't? I love cheese. Last but not least, Mississippi pot roast. I have personally never seen anyone make it the way that I make it. And I, I've only ever seen people use gravy mix and mine is so good that I don't want to stray from it because I don't even want to try it with the gravy mix. So if you've only ever made the Mississippi crock pot roast with the gravy mix, try it with this ingredient that I use because I'm telling you, my kids ask for this like so much. And they are not beef lovers. They are not steak lovers. They don't love roast. But this is truly, truly, truly a game changer. Your family's gonna love it. Um, like I said in the video, you can, you know, make make it with a lot of uh, pepperoncinis. You can make it with a little bit of pepperoncinis. I personally like it with a lot because it just adds that extra bit of tanginess and flavor. It is just, oh, it's so delicious. And you can again do so many things with this. You, you know, if you're keto, you can eat it just like that. Um, with maybe like a low carb vegetable on the side. If you're not keto, you can serve it with rice and serve like the sauce over the rice. It is so good. So let's go ahead and get into this super, super easy crock pot video as well, recipe. So this is called the Mississippi Pot Roast and all you're gonna need is a chuck roast. Um, you can do like about, I usually go about three pounds. This is two and two and about a quarter pounds. Um, you're going to need one full stick of butter, you're going to need some pepperoncinis, you're going to need one packet of onion soup mix, and one packet of ranch seasoning. 
and literally just dump everything in and go. Now I've seen a, I've seen this recipe on YouTube a lot. Some people use brown gravy mix. Some people use other things. Some people only put in like four or five pepperoncinis, y'all. I load it down with pepperoncinis because I don't think it adds much spice. And I'll tell you because my kids do not like spice, and girl, they will pick it up in a heartbeat. But they don't pick this up and it just adds so much flavor. So let's go ahead and get started with this super delicious, yet super, super simple crock pot meal. So as you can see here, I loaded, I completely surrounded the roast with the pepperoncinis. I have like 13 or 14 of them in there. Again, all of the ones I've seen on YouTube do like four or five. I don't know where I got this recipe from. I think I just pulled it off of Pinterest like, I don't know, like last year. And me and the kids are just obsessed with it. So yeah, I've kind of adapted it to my family's liking. And this is the way that I personally do it, and I think this is the most best delicious flavor. So we're just going to pop the lid on it and put this on low and cook it for eight hours. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Delicious, you guys. This little sauce gravy deliciousness going on is so good. Usually I do like a bigger meal with this like some rice some veggies maybe a potato something like that but today we're literally just going to have this on some rolls which i've never done before and but i know it's going to be amazing um and i'm just super 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 busy <laughs> and i've got a lot of stuff to get done so we're just going to have some broccoli on the side and that is what this deliciousness looks like. I wish you guys could smell this. It is so good. If you have not tried this, you need to. This is by far my most favorite thing to do in the crock pot. No joke, like it is delicious. So everyone needs to try this. I told y'all we'd be eating good over here. And like I said, I may be losing weight at a slower rate, but I'm gonna tell you what, I'm real happy. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you make some of these recipes. If you do, tag me on Instagram. I'm Mr. Nice1516 over there. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're new here. Love you guys, bye.